Hi guys, welcome to Varsity TV. We all about unearthing youth talent. My name is Amanda Boy, and as you know, our theme is entrepreneurs. On today's show, we're talking to a young and talented man whose name is Let's see what he had to say. Hi guys, my name is Amanda Boy. Welcome to Varsity TV. We're all about unearthing youth talent. As you know, our theme is all about young entrepreneurs without wasting any more time. Let's get into it. Could you please formally introduce yourself and your business? My name is Kuro and I'm I am born and bred in Bobo. My business is about uh, creating uh, hip hop and skateboarding apparel for children. We are a young company. The brand that we're pushing out is not royalty, but um, we are owned by companies from New York City. So, what made you decide to establish a clothing apparel? Well, I would like to prove it, firstly, and looking at what is out there. For instance, when we look at our big retailers like your anchors and other franchises, they're not selling the type of clothes that we want to do. And when we look at other companies out there that are doing what we're supposed to be doing, they're flourishing. We look at what Fubu did in the early 2000s, we look at what Chuck is doing in the US, but where they're losing money is that they're not able to take that business and make it successful. So we want to fill that gap for your public and state body. Um, yeah, that's, that's our vision. So what would you say stands up? What, what do you do that's very different from what's already out there? Is this other school building materials? Well, you know, part of our vision is that we want to design the children. We want to manufacture them according to how we feel and how we want them but also we want to distribute the retail. So we want to do the whole nine yards. Um, what makes it different is that we are the market that we are talented. So we know what we want and we are creating it. Versus someone who is in the early 30s, or in the late 30s, and want to try to jump back and create the market that is different. So we are the target market and we know what we want and therefore we can fulfill that market. And for how long have you guys been functioning as a business? We registered our business on the 1st of July in 2013, um, under North Designs. Um, and I think uh, we've had uh, just over a year recently. Um, what I love about that is that we did not box ourselves in as to be a dog royalty or just a, a single brand. We became a retail house by North Designs that we can catch up other children companies to retail for them and work with them and not just you know, box us up into having one company or one brand. Well, retail is a very competitive um, market. Were there any challenges along the way? We're still facing challenges now because we're still a young company. Um, our first and most important objective is to get ourselves known and to acquire distribution. I think when we have the type of investors that can allow us and share the vision that we have and allow us to successfully spread ourselves around the country, I think then they will be able to see what we can offer. But before then, we were still asking that people else and I think and I believe that people will see that we are unique uh, in our own. So, um, are you talking about mistakes? Well, right now we are more focused on guys and, um, you know, guys buy more expensive clothing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Right, so, plus we are guys, you know, I mean, me and my partner, Tavo, um, who is at home, who is also a guy, um, we are guys, we are both guys, so the best fit us to design something for guys first, then we will branch out into other, you know, other things. Um, what would you say your Honestly, yeah, I don't really have role models. I learned from everybody. You know, I learned from the marketing, I learned from our work, I call it, you know, um, everyday life. My role model would be my mom, not to be cold or cheap or anything. I'm raised by a single parent, so I know the struggles and what she's doing. 
So that I know, seeing her, you know, I'm not looking at someone on TV, I'm not looking, I'm seeing her every single day in work. She is doing, you know, working hard and doing that, giving me what I am. So that is my goal. That's someone who I want to be proud. Okay. So you know there's a lot of people who have um, really great ideas like such as most, but that person is not motivated enough to run along with it. What do you have to say to that young person? Motivation is not, uh, you know, ambition is not a learned behavior. Right? You cannot teach someone how to want something. They either want it or they want it. You can always tell if someone wants it better enough by what they're willing to sacrifice and how far they're willing to go outside of the comfort zone. So, you know, don't listen to what someone is saying. Look at what they are willing to sacrifice, put on the table, give them up, and change about themselves in, in order to accomplish those things. So you, you can't teach someone how to hustle. You either have it or you don't. You either have it or you don't. Well, could you please um, tell everyone where can we get hold of you? People want to support this business, where should they go? Right now we're still young, like I said. So we're using our Facebook page, uh, not designs, L-O-T-S space designs. Um, we also use our Facebook page um, dot royalty D A W G Royalty. Um, one of our key face members, one of our faces is Randy as you see on these pictures all up in the US representing us so we very proud that achievement. Well thank you very much for joining me. I wish you well with your business. This is Watson CTV. I am a little boy. Join me every weekday. I am Sunny House. So there you have it. Be sure to check out his website from your girl, Amanda Boy. I am Sunny House.